Hey, welcome back to Bee Mother Reviews, everybody. Today we're looking at something a little bit different for my channel. This is a custom painted statue kit of a character that does not get a lot of attention in the collectibles world. Yes, that's right. This is Captain Britain, and it's been almost two years since the last video on this channel. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into the review. <laughs> Right, Captain Britain, also known as Brian Braddock, the champion of the British Isles, the leader of the supergroup known as Excalibur. Um, you know, admittedly, he's a character that I never really followed that close growing up. I don't know a ton about him, but I'll give you some of the basics here. Now, you might recognize his last name of Braddock. And that's because he's the twin brother of Betsy Braddock, who's better known to many, including myself, as Psylocke, the longtime member of the X-Men. Now, unlike his sister, he's not a mutant. He gets his powers from a magical amulet. Now, it was after a fateful motorcycle crash where he was actually killed, where he was approached by the sorcerer Merlin, we can see here on the base, and his daughter Roma over here, and they deemed him worthy of becoming the next Captain Britain. All he had to do was choose between the Sword of Might or the Amulet of Right. Now, Brian is a scholarly man. He is a brilliant scientist and engineer. He decided to choose the amulet, thinking the sword was a little bit out of his wheelhouse. Now, when he puts the amulet on, he was transformed into Captain Britain. Now, what are his powers? Well, they're pretty basic. Uh, super strength, super speed, durability, stamina, all that good stuff. And he can also fly. His powers actually fluctuate the further away he gets from the British Isles. So he's stronger when he's at home and he grows weaker as he travels abroad. Now, in the early days, before Excalibur, he needed the amulet with him to be transformed into Captain Britain. But later on, when he adopted this new suit, the suit actually became sort of a battery for his powers. It could store the energies and allow him to fight all over the world. And then later on, all over the multiverse because our Captain Britain of Earth is actually one of many Captain Britons. Every Earth in the multiverse has their own Captain Britain and together they form the Captain Britain core. So why did I want Captain Britain in my collection? Well, we'll get into a little bit more on that as we get into more on the statue with Sculpt and Design next. All right, as I said, Captain Britain is not a character that I really followed closely as a kid, but I was a big collector of Marvel cards, the old 1990, 91, and 92 Marvel card sets. I actually still have all of them, and as I flip through the pages, I do honestly always stop at the Captain Britain card because I think he's just a cool looking character. I love the colors of his suit, the Union Jack flag all over it, his big muscular physique, uh, he's just an imposing, cool-looking character. And because he has those ties to Excalibur, and Excalibur having a lot of its original members being former X-Men, I could kind of justify him being in my collection. And as a statue collector, and if you're watching this video, you probably are one as well, every once in a while there's a statue out there that just grabs our attention, and we say to ourselves, I gotta have that. And this one did that for me. This statue is sculpted by a man named Dario Martin, who I likely butchered his name, but that's okay, because um, he did an amazing job on this piece. Um, it hit a lot of nails right on the head for me. I love the pose. It's just a simple, effortless superhero pose. I love how he's elevated way up off the base, giving that appearance of flight. Um, just effortless power all around this guy. I love the base as well. There's tons of detail here and we got the ties to his origin story with the Merlin and the Roma statues holding the sword and the amulet. I love those elements of this statue. The design is fantastic. The sculpt itself, great texturing on the costume without being too overbearing with it. And I mentioned the physique. I mean, look at this guy. He is jacked up. He's 6'6", six, six, over 250 pounds. And this statue, I think, adequately reflects that. This is just an awesome piece all around from Dario. And I'm really happy to have it in my collection. Now let's move on and talk about paint next. 
All right, off the top, I mentioned that this is a custom painted statue kit. Uh, so a little bit different than your normal licensed piece. And this was actually painted by yours truly. Uh, that's something I've been sort of slowly learning to do in my spare time, what little I have these days. And uh, this is the third complete statue paint up that I've done. And it was a good challenge for me and where my abilities are right now. Now, if you're interested, um, I do have on my website, beemother.com, I'll put a link in the description for you, um, a full write-up that includes all the different types of paint and colors that I used on this statue. Uh, I just will say that I had a really hard time with the white stripes on the torso. Masking those and getting a nice clean line between the blue and the red, really, really a big challenge. I wasn't really expecting that, to be honest, but working with white in general was a way bigger challenge than I thought because every little mistake I made, and there were lots, um, showed up like an absolute sore thumb. But ultimately, I'm pretty happy with the colors. I tried to match as closely as I could the colors of the Union Jack flag, um, which is not that easy, actually, and especially the red. I tested a bunch of different reds and eventually settled on this one here. It's called Wicked Crimson that I really, really like. Um, now, as far as the base, um, I've seen a lot of people paint this kit with a, a dark gray stone base. Um, I went a little bit of a different route because um, my wife and I actually went to England for our honeymoon. And, you know, while I was there, we saw the Tower of London, we saw Stonehenge, you know, Big Ben, uh, Westminster Abbey, all those uh, very famous British um, architecture and monuments. And none of those are a dark gray stone. So I went with more of a sandstone, kind of a limestone color um, to try and match that a little bit more closely. Um, so mine's a little bit different than the other ones out there, I have to say. Um, as I said, a uh, big challenge for me painting it. The one uh, relief I had, I guess, with this is that there's not a lot of skin to paint, just that little area on the face. So lucky for me, um, I don't have to hyperanalyze too much skin on this statue. So there's the paint. Let's talk about the build quality of this kit coming up next. All right, so as I mentioned previously, this was a statue kit and it was produced by a company called Ownage who has a pretty good reputation in this industry. And um, I have to say, I think this is an amazing kit. Now it's only the third one I've done. As I said, I don't have a ton of experience there, but this one is, as you see it here, entirely in the same kit form uh, that it came to me in, meaning that I can take it apart in all the same pieces. Um, all the magnets were installed, all the metal rods were installed. I didn't have to patch any seams, fix any breaks. Uh, it was basically take it out of the box, clean it, prime it, and just start painting. It's an absolutely beautiful kit. The textures on it are excellent. Um, I, I think they did a fantastic job and definitely lived up to that hype uh, that I had heard about uh, before I received this piece. It does come with two extra switch out heads, as you see here. Um, these both have more of a modern mask and it's kind of the same mask, but of course you got this one here with the beard. Um, so this base has this extra little space here out front and I actually just keep those on the base there as I display it because this one here, the more classic Excalibur mask, is the one that I'm gonna display with it. But I like being able to keep those here so I can kind of hyper analyze the paint job I did and pick it apart over time. Um, but kit wise, build wise, I think this is about as good as it gets. All right, let's wrap up this review of the Captain Britain custom statue kit. Now this one's sculpted by Dario Martin, who also did the design and produced by Ownage. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a statue that I just absolutely fell in love with the minute I saw it. I was lucky I had to grab one off Facebook. I didn't have to look around too long for it. Got it for a pretty good price and I was blown away when it got to my door. Fantastic build on this kit. As I mentioned, I can take this apart and pack it up exactly the way it came to me. I didn't have to glue anything together, patch any seams, fix any breaks, nothing. It's just a beautiful kit. Uh, I love the sculpt and design. I love the backstory elements on the base. I love the illusion of flight, the big jacked up superhero physique. 
Um, the texture, the detail, everything about this statue really is a home run in my opinion. And uh, even though I have lots and lots of room to improve, I'm pretty satisfied with the paint job for now. I may go back and touch some things up later on, but who knows. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this kit. Um, stay tuned to the channel. I do have a few other kits that I'm going to be working on, including a Weapon X. Um, I also got a 3D printer, so I'm going to be printing off my own kits and painting those up and may do some videos on those as well. So stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon.